Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most anticipated products of the year, the Apple VR AR headset. This device has been rumored for a long time, but it seems like it's finally going to be revealed at Apple's WWDC 2023 event in June. So what do we know so far about this headset, and what can we expect from it? Let's find out. The Apple VR AR headset is said to be a mixed reality device that can switch between virtual reality and augmented reality modes. It will not rely on sensors alone but will use powerful displays that sit over your eyes, obscuring the world around you. The device will run its own operating system called XROS, which will allow you to access various apps and games designed for this platform. The headset is expected to have a sleek design that borrows elements from across Apple's product line, such as the AirPods Pro, the Apple Watch, and the iPhone. It will have a separate battery pack that you can wear on your belt or in your pocket, and it will have a thimble-like device for hand tracking and other controls. It will also have a digital crown that you can use to switch between R and VR modes. The device is rumored to have some impressive features, such as eye tracking, facial recognition, spatial audio, and haptic feedback. It will also have high-resolution displays that can offer up to 8K resolution per eye, which is much higher than any other VR headset on the market right now. The device will also have a wide field of view of about 110 degrees, which is comparable to the MetaQuest 2. However, all these features come at a cost. The Apple VR AR headset is expected to be very expensive, with a possible price tag of $3,000. That's more than 10 times the price of the MetaQuest 2, which costs $299. The device is also said to be heavy and bulky, weighing about 300 grams, which is twice as much as the MetaQuest 2. The battery life is also not very impressive, with only two hours of usage per charge. So who is this device for? Well, according to some reports, Apple is targeting this device mainly at developers and enterprise customers who want to create and test apps and games for the mixed reality platform. The device is not meant to be a mass market product, but rather a stepping stone for Apple's future R glasses, which are expected to arrive sometime around 2025. So what do you think of the Apple VR AR headset? Are you excited about it or do you think it's too expensive and too heavy? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.